Peggy 18. The Avalanche engine focuses a lot on, on rule sets and procedural solutions to, to problems. The benefit of that is the freedom of movement that that enables for the player. The way they're advancing the engine uh, adds for a sort of order of magnitude increase in the type of things you can do. Well, one of the great features was while you're in the wingsuit, you could use the grappling hook at the same time. So for us, a lot of that complexity comes from just the natural layering of our mechanics together. I think the biggest thing that the player will see is being able to have the freedom to do many things while still kind of just playing. One of the more frustrating moments in games is you have this awesome idea in your head and you just hit the button and you say, the awesome idea should have happened right there. But the game is in the middle of an animation or it's decided that you should be doing something else. So we spent a lot of time, a lot of technology, to try to get that feeling where no matter what button you pressed, it would respond in the way you thought it should respond. I mean, we have a ton of new memory. We're able to, uh, the processing power, the parallel structures that are in place now, uh, it allows for things that you couldn't do on last gen. So we uh, started using Havoc Destruction, which is a kind of extension for the Havoc physics that deals with things breaking apart. And we've been one of the kind of early adopters for their latest iteration of that, that system. Think just about, for example, what we call the chaos objects. So those are the things that you destroy to liberate a military base. Uh, in Just Cause 2, the technique which was used, uh, it's called mesh swapping. So you deal a certain amount of damage, and then uh, in a bit of illusionism, uh, and you swap what you see for another visual. Now everything is procedural. Uh, meaning that each one of these objects is composed by sub-objects and then they are attached together as they would be in real world. So what we use now, uh, it's an AI system based on behavior trees rather than on goal-oriented behavior. It means that our designers are much, are much, much more in control of what the AI actually does. The designers have set up ways to find firing lines when you're in the air. Uh, it seems pretty simple as a human, but if you imagine what that calculation is, the math behind it of someone actually having to find all the certain things that have to go through these behavior trees so that the AI is making the right decision. Just the ability to create worlds of this density, com complexity, and size, that alone is something that uh, makes the Avalanche engine stand out uh, in front of many other engines.